again. Thank you for coming. Thank you for joining Overcomers. Overcomers Deliverance and Healing Ministry invites you to receive your deliverance of salvation, breakthroughs, deliverance from bad dreams, monetary problem, business failure, evil family pattern, poverty, witchcraft, and any form of attacks. Welcome once again. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Sigi. Welcome you. Today, I'm going to talk to you the subject called Supernatural Miracles, Showers of Prosperity. Supernatural Miracle Showers of Prosperity. And I'm going to read from the book of Ezekiel 34, verse 26. I'm going to read from the book of Ezekiel 34, verse 26. The Bible says, And I will make them and the places around about my hills a blessing, and I will cause the sour to come down in each season. They shall be sours of blessing. They shall be sours of prosperity. The Lord Almighty is going to cause a place around you to start releasing the blessings, the blessings of prosperity. The, the, the sours of blessings shall locate you in the mighty name of Jesus. Every demon of poverty in your life shall be destroyed in the name of Jesus. The sours of blessings, God is going to release sours of blessings. The dry land, the place that you are working, your business, the showers of blessings is, to, it is going to come down in the mighty name of Jesus. You see, when the word of God says, I will make them and the places around about my hills are blessings. And I will cause the showers. God is going to cause the showers of blessings. God himself is going to cause the showers of blessings in the mighty name of Jesus. This is supernatural miracle of showers of blessings that will fall upon you, upon your family, upon your workplace, upon your work in the mighty name of Jesus. Prosperity of, of, of showers of blessings will fall upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. When the Bible says that God will make, God will go and I will make, and I will make them and the place around about my hills, my hill a blessing, and I will cause the shower to come down in each season. The, the showers that will come in each season, this is the season of showers of blessings that will rain from heaven. Sours of blessings will come and locate you and overtake you in the mighty name of Jesus. This is a supernatural miracle. Showers of prosperity will fall upon you. You may be wondering how this can be happen. How, how, how is it going to happen? Yes. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. You may wonder how does this, this one is going to happen. How is it going to happen? The Lord is saying this morning, showers of blessings are coming. God is going to pull out showers of blessings and it is going to locate you according to his word. He says that he, the showers will come on his own season. This is the season you have been waiting for. You have been praying so much. Now the season has come. When supernatural miracles, showers of prosperity is going to, to rain down from heaven. God has heard your cry. Now is the time to release his blessings to you. Showers of blessings that will come and overtake you in the mighty name of Jesus. God is good. He has remembered you. You have to obey the word of God and receive the blessings of God in the mighty name of Jesus. In the book of Psalm 72 verse 6, the book of Psalm 72 verse 6, the Bible says, He shall come down like rain. It shall come down like rain upon the grass before moving like a showers that water the earth. So the, 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 the blessings of, of God, it is going to come down like rain. God is going to rain, rain money. God is going to rain money. This is supernatural miracle. Supernatural miracle. Do you know that God is able to rain miracle? miracle of financial breakthrough in your life for a long time you have never seen money for a long time your business has not catch up for a long time you have not got a job but this is the season 
It is only season. The season has come when the Lord has heard your cry, when the Lord is going to release the blessings of heaven to come upon you according to these scriptures. These, these, these hours of, of blessings, it will rain upon you and it will come like it will come and you will receive them everyone will be surprised and say what is this what is happening to this person when it is showers of heaven come down like rain like rain you remember god fed the children of israel manna manna rain from from heaven like rain so you can't stop you can't control this the supernatural miracle of god when God wants to, to bless you, he is able to rain money down and you will receive it. God, you can't control it. God is a supernatural. God is, is the whole my God. When his word he says, he will do it. Because we saw how he was able to feed the children of Israel. Manna were coming cooked in the oven, hot food were coming from heaven, and the children, were, the children of Israel, they were able to eat. They were fed every time, every time, until they finished their journey. This is the same, this is the season that the showers of blessings is going to fall upon you. Showers of prosperity. No more cry. No more poverty. No more poor in your, in your midst. In the mighty name of Jesus. That financial breakthrough you are looking, it is your season to receive it in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord, I thank you. I thank you. He shall come down like rain upon the grasses upon, uh, before, before moving like a sours that water they had. So it will come down to, like it will come down from heaven. And your work is to tap and receive it because God's blessings is from heaven. God says, test me and see if I will not release my blessings from heaven. The, the blessings of from heaven, it will come. God says that he will even open the windows. When the windows of heaven has been opened, no one, no demon, no powers of darkness, that will hold your blessings. God told me on Thursday to talk to you and tell you that you need to be faithful with your tithe and offering. Once you give your tithe and offering, this is the season that God is going to release the showers of blessings, the showers of, of prosperity that will overtake you. I have to share this because I wanted to ignore it. I shared to my people on Friday. Uh, those people come to, for deliverance. I, you had this message, but it was a different message. And now I thought I would forget, but the Holy Spirit has reminded me to share with you. Even if you have your church, you are going even your tithe and offering. And I would like you to send me your, your, your tithe and offering, not money, a, 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 your receipt or, or a point of contact, because God wants to open windows of heaven. If you want to send money, fine. If you want to call me and let me and say that I've given my tithe and offering, I want God to open showers of blessing, windows of heaven for my bless, my breakthrough. I will do that because that is a command I was given. It, God did not tell me that you have to give me to, to my ministry so that he can open windows of heaven to bless you. He said that you have to obey the word of God. This time of season of, of showers of blessings, of prosperity, God, has released, uh, God is going to open windows of heaven and release your blessings in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. If you have problem of, 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 of financial of, of finances, if you have a problem of your financial breakthrough, you need financial breakthrough, this is your message. You can share to your friends. If, you are be, if your money is being attacked, if you have been, your finances has been attacked, this is the decision. The Lord is going to raise his, his prosperity to you, supernatural prosperity, in the name of Jesus. If you are if you are struggling with the finances, you are struggling with your income, you are low income, you are struggling, this is your time. Supernatural miracle hours of prosperity is at, has been risked. The Bible says that God will, will open windows of heaven. God will open windows of heaven and it will rain showers of pressing like rain coming from, from heaven. So the power of God, God is God. He knows how to do his stuff. He knows how to rain blessings to, to his children. 
it is it, 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 hallelujah praise, praise be the name of Jesus it is over it is your time to receive the showers of blessing it is the time to receive your, your financial breakthrough it is the time to receive your financial your debt cancellation this debt cancellation debt that has been has been worried you uh, uh, people what do we call these people debt uh, debt calling how do you call it? Uh, those people are calling you from from debt collect collector calling you all the time it has been worrying you you can't even sleep properly even the the the, the school the the loan that you are you have i am praying that god will cancel every debt because this is the season this is the season god is going to cancel every debt that you are owning this is the season that God is going to rain his blessings upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. If you are having difficulty to pay your bills, this is the season God is going to rain showers of blessings. But you need a point of contact. You need to go to, the, to your church and give your 100%, uh, 10% your tithe and offering. I know some people you are committed to your church. I thank you. I thank you. I say thank you. Thank you for that. But you have to know your church, when you give your tithes and offering, do you get the showers? Do you get the blessings? It's as God rebuked the devourer, as God stopped the, the demon that is eating your finances, as God canceled your debts, that is how you have to look at it. You have been committed to your church 100%. We thank God for that. Now, it is your season of blessings that has been released from heaven. God told me clearly to tell you that he is going to open uh, windows of heaven to bless you. Those who have been, their finances has been attacked so much, but you must take a step of faith to give a point, as a point of contact for, so that God can release, the, 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 can open windows of heaven for you. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Uh, let's look at the the, 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 the word of God from the book of Isaiah 55, verse 10 to 11. This is the uh, showers of prosperity. Showers of, of, of prosperity. Showers of prosperity, it is not going to come to you automatic. That's what the Holy Spirit told me. Showers of blessings is going to come. Showers of prosperity, it's going to come as when you give your point of contact, you are 10%. No matter if you are not working or you, are, you are don't work. Anything that income you have, anything you have, even if 10% is, is $1, that is fine. That's what you have. So you don't have to kill yourself. Any income you have, even if it's $5, it, it's your 10% uh, of uh, diet. That is what God will honor. So if you are poor, you don't have anything. You can give even one cent. That is what God can honor. God does not tell, ask you to give when you don't, you don't have. God is, a, in, God is a God of order. He knows you. He, know you are, he knows your situation. Yeah? God knows your situation. He understands you very well. And when he said, test me and see if I will not open the windows for you. This is your time to break that poverty, to break ancestral poverty, to break generational poverty, to destroy every power attacking your finances. It is a season of, of, of showers of, 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 of blessings that has been released from heaven. Heaven has heard your cry. Heaven understands today that it is your time to, to receive your blessings. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let's look in the book of Isaiah 55, verse 10 to 11. The Bible says, as For as the rain comes down, and the shower, and this, uh, yes, for as the rain comes down, and the snow from heaven, and do not return there, but water the heart, and make it bring forth and put, the, that it may give seeds to the sower, and the bread to either. So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not it is an, it shall accomplish what I please, and it shall prosper in the things for which I send it. So the word says, the word of God says, as the rain comes down and the snow from heaven, 
and do not return there as the, as the, as the rain comes from heaven and the snow comes down. They don't return there. Rain does not return to heaven. Snow does not return to heaven, but it comes to the earth and water the earth. So the every word of God comes from the mouth of God. It will be established. It will be accomplished. It will do what God has said. So when God has promised that he will rain showers of blessings, he will rain showers of blessings, he will rain prosperity from heaven, he, he, it will, the, his word will prosper. His word will prosper. So God is asking you this morning to obey the word of God and receive this word of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Because this word will never go avoidly. This word will never go back to heaven without doing what he has said. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. That is a sure promise. God has promised this assurance uh, word from, from his mouth. He said that my words that I speak, it will never return avoidly. It will do what I've said and it is going to be, uh, 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 it, it is going to do. God can never fail. Heaven and earth will pass, but this word will never fail. So when you trust the word of God, children of God, people of God, if you are facing financial, a financial problem, if you are being, your finances being attacked all the time, you get paid, but you, you don't see money. It goes very fast. There's some powers eating your money. So the Lord Almighty is going to press you in a special pressing. He's releasing a special blessings to you. And the enemy that has been spoiling, taking away your money is going to be stopped by the power in the blood of Jesus. So the God Almighty, he has said he will release his money. He will release his money like rain. The money will come from heaven like rain. So that you can be able to pay your bills and be able to recover everything that you have lost in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says, look at that. It's Zechariah 10 verse 1. Zechariah 10 verse 1, the Bible says, Ask rain from the Lord in the season of spring rain, from the Lord who makes the storm clouds, and he will give them showers of rain to everyone that vegetation fes 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 uh, fes in the field. So the Lord, he asked him, ask the Lord, he will give you in the season. The Lord is going to, to, to give you in his season. This is the season. This is your time. Don't let this time pass. This is the time that you need prosperity. You need to prosper. This is the time you need your financial breakthrough. This is the time you need your breakthrough. You have been suffering a lot, a long time. Yeah? You have been wandering a long time. So this time it has come. The time has come. The season has come. When you will ask God to release your prosperity, to release your blessings that has been engaged by the powers of darkness, that has been engaged by the witchcraft, that has been engaged by the powers of, of, of your father's house, that has been engaged by the powers of your mother's house. It is the time you command them to release your blessings, to release your prosperity, to release your, your wealth from the grave in the mighty name of Jesus. Do you know when, some, when, when you, you say, you share with your people that you are going to do a business or you are going to get a new job, they will reign in incarnation. They will reign in incarnation. They will chant and speak and, 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 and curse you until you miss, you, miss, you miss that blessings. I remember every time when I used to go out to, to, a, to a places, to, a, to another country or to preach the gospel, we, our finances was attacked so much. If every member or everybody was being at the finances was being attacked, no money, no offering, nothing. So I look and said, God, what is this? And then I saw the enemy, the demon, who is the enemy of the gospel, is the one who attacking the members of the church, attacking everyone so that they don't money, they don't come so we can go to the to the, to, to preach the gospel. Therefore, that is what is happening. They would attack your finances, attack your finances until you, you, you have nothing. You go to, to run, you have so many runs, you have so many credit, you can't even, you, you can't pay. Now, because of that, you remain miserable and sick. 
Nobody will run you. Nobody will render you now. Everywhere, nobody will give you money. Because you own so many places. Now is your time to ask God. Zechariah 10 verse 1. Ask rain from the Lord in the season of the spring rain from the Lord who makes the storm clouds and he will give them showers of rain to everyone, every vegetation in the field. So God will release the blessings. God will release his, his blessings to fall upon you. God will come to you this season of blessings in the mighty name of Jesus. My God, I want to thank you, Father. I want to pray that God Almighty, anyone who needs financial breakthrough, anyone who needs the supernatural miracle of, of showers of, of prosperity, Father, rain showers of blessings upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, my Father. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. God, I want to thank you, my Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. The Bible says that, that, that God is good. In Acts 14, verse 17, the, the Bible says in the book of Acts 14, verse 17, Yet he did not leave himself without witness, for he did good by giving you lands from heaven and fruitful seasons, satisfying your heart with food and gladness. So the Lord is going to give you rain, season. It is a season. He will satisfy you. This is what the Bible says. Acts 14, verse 17. Yet he did not leave his, himself without witness. For he did good by giving you rains of heaven and fruitful season, satisfying your heart with food and gladness. The Lord will satisfy your heart. The Lord will satisfy your heart with, with, with the food and the gladness. This is our God. This is our God who says that he will never live without witness. He always do good. He promised that he's going to bless you. He promised that he's going to release rain of showers of blessings from heaven. He promised that he's going to do supernatural miracle to give you prosperity. Remember, the Bible says it is the power of God to make you wealthy. There is angels called surprise angels that will release the blessings of, 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 of God. When this, uh, uh, when this supplies uh, angels will come to you, you will never see poverty in your life. That is the angel Moses the ruler work with. That's the angel that you see these other pastors who are really moving on well. They are, they are working with. There is angel called surprise. That's what the angel that Paul was using. He said, my God will supply my needs according to his riches and glory. The God of Paul. Paul did, did not say our God. He said, my God. Because Paul had angel of surprise. So that same angels of surprise, God will release him. And he will come to you and supply everything you need. That's why you need to be obedient and give your tithe according to the word of God. Give your tithe and offering. That is what God is asking you. And he said he will open the windows of heaven and he will rain showers of blessing. There's this when, when, when Paul was preaching, the other churches, when he went there, the, other, the churches did not even look at Look at him. They didn't support him. They didn't do anything. And then Paul said, okay, that's fine. But the church that has obedient, that has obeyed and give uh, and, and support Paul's mission, he blessed them. He said, my God will bless you. My God will meet your, your needs according to his glory and riches of, of God. So therefore, this God, the angel of surprise of Paul will be located you in Jesus' name. It is when you will be assigned by the angels. I will start teaching the angels soon. I'm preparing a package of the angels. It is going to take almost even one month. You need to know that angels, there's angels called the angels of redeem. That these angels will stop you from sinning. Anytime you go to sin, the angels will put a conscious cell you alone. Stop. So I'm going to talk about the angels. When I've been running, I've been starting a lot about the angels. Now I'm going to preach about the angels. You will see that angels that I'm talking. 
There is angels, believe me. There is angels called surprise angels. When these angels, when you need money, the angels will go straight away and bring that money to you. That's why the devil, Freemason, witchcraft, this Illuminati, they are using they are using the power of darkness to give to make people wealthy and through sacrifice, through drinking. That they, because they, they know that the children of God, they are ignorant. They don't understand. So now the devil is using this taking advantage to, to give the, the, their members money and make them wealthy. And you, child of God, the origin of this, you are suffering. That is a lie. You should know, you should know where is your angel of surprise. Who is your angel of surprise? It cannot come automatically. You have to sacrifice. Even those devil worshippers, they do a lot of work. They don't get their money like that. They don't get their powers like that. Look at them, the way they sacrifice and the way they do. They can even fast 100 days to get those powers. Devil does not give them free. Devil will give you money and, and you will pay so much. Also, he will give you condition. You have to meet the condition of the devil. But our God, he has given you free will, free choice. Yeah? If you seek me with your own heart, you will find me. That's what God says. And he said, I will open windows of heaven and release the blessings for you. And I will rebuke the devourer. Why is that the devourer is devouring you? Why is it? Let's look at that book of Malachi. I'm not going to leave the, the Bible says, I will not leave you without the witness. Let us witness the book of Malachi. Malachi 3, verse 10 to 11. There's something here I want people of God to understand. I know some people, they don't want to hear this scripture, but this is a deliverance message. This is a deliverance message. You've been suffering a lot. Call a spade a spade. You don't have to cover sins and yet you are suffering. You have to know why is that you are being attacked, your finances are being attacked all the time. What have you done? You are faithful to everything you are doing. But why is your money being attacked? You need supernatural, miracle, sours of blessing. Yes. Let's look at the book of Malachi 10, verse 11 to, verse 10 to 11. The Bible says, Hallelujah. Yes, God is God. God is command, command regarding our tithe. God entered a covenant of blessings with his people. He poured his blessings upon them and asked them to give back to him a tenth of everything that they were given. Their tenth became the precious seed that was sown in order to reap his blessings. Now, when you look at the, uh, uh, this Malachi, at 10, verse, verse, 3 verse 10, the Bible says, we are given, uh, the Bible says, yes, Lord, thank you, Jesus. Ten, 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 ten. God, you are so good, my Father, thank you. Yes, the Bible says, Bring ye all the tithes unto the storehouse, that they may be meat in my house, and prove me now. Here with, says the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven and boil you out. You see, he said that, bring ye all the tithes unto the storehouse, that they may be meat in my house. And prove me now, hear with, says the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the window of the windows of heaven, windows of heaven, and pour you out a blessing that they will they shall not be a room enough to receive it. Then the Bible says verse eleven, and I will rebuke the devourer for your sex. And he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground, neither shall your vein cast a fruit before the time in the field, says the Lord of hosts. Now here, verse 11, is where I'm going to talk to. 
I'm going to look at. You've been giving your tithe and offering as according to Malachi Mar 3 verse, verse, verse 10. But now you find your, your, your offering is being devoured. Your offering is being destroyed. Your offering has been destroyed. Now God says, I will rebuke the devour. So you have to understand this. That God is going to rebuke the devour. If you give the right praise. If you don't give the, your tithes and offering the right praise. Then the devour will not be, will not be broken. God will not rebuke that. God considered tithe and offering very important to his kingdom. He promised that he has to, break, he has to rebuke the devour. He promised that he has to destroy the powers of your father's house, the powers of your mother's house, ancestral powers, he will, he will rebuke them. But you find your, the powers of your father's house, the powers of your mother's house, the power of your ancestors, generational curses, all th this Jesus has paid for you, still they are attacking your finances. Because God has not rebuked them. That's why you need to know where do you give your tithe and ovary. Whom, which kind of a church are you giving? What kind of pastor are you giving? Does the pastor represent your offering to the throne of God? Does your pastor go and pray with you and rebuke the, the generational curses, the enemy that is attacking your finances? That is sickness that is affecting your life. As your pastor take care of you and pray with you according to the word of God. Or, or, or it's a multiple church where the, 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 the people are coming to dance and sing and sing and dance and dance. And the pastor say, may the grace of our Lord Jesus be with you. Amen. Yes. P people, or the pastor is concerned about prosperities. Give thousand, give a hundred. Like that, putting a lot of pressure. You give, you give. But at the end, you remain with your, proper, your poverty. You remain with the sickness. You remain with, the, with a lot of stress or depressed. You wear good clothes, you go to church, but inside you are wounded, you are sick. As, as God rebuked the devour of, of killing your, your marriage, as God rebuked the devour of destroying your children, your children have been destroyed, you have no children. Most of them, they are in prison. As God rebuked that, that enemy that is destroying your children, sickness is in your home. As God rebuked that sickness, if you give your tithes and you are a church God, as God stopped that enemy at destroying your, your ministry. There, there are powers you need to know when you give your tithes and offering. When God says, I will destroy the devour, what is a devour? What is a devour? God, when God has said a devour, yes, you have to know why is it that my, my prosperity, why is it that I am like this? You have to ask a question. You have to sit down and talk to God. He said, ask. Look at that, 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 that book of Hosea. Hosea 6 verse 3. The Bible says, let us know, let us press on to know the Lord is going out, is sure as the dew, he would come to us as the showers and the spring rains that water the, the earth. Yes, let us press on. Let us press to know who is this God. God will come for sure. God will come for us. People of God, come out from that box. Come out from that church. You are being engaged there. You cannot suffer in that church and you are, you are committed to your past and everything. Then you watch and sit down suffering like that. God must answer you. God must show God of our forefathers. God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob must appear to your situation, must appear to your finances, must appear to get out of that sickness bed. God of Isaac, God of Jacob, and Abraham, God of our, for our Lord Jesus Christ is the same God who is alive. As he said that this word would never, never go back without doing what God has said. God has said he will heal you. God has, has promised you good things for, your, your, you, for you and your family. God has said clearly here, he will rebuke, he said he extend even your flocks, even your animals, your farm, your home. He will bless it, he will bless it. He will rebuke anything touching your home. He will rebuke something touching the rape of your work. This, if you meditate upon this scripture, 
uh, Malachi 3 verse 11. You can see what the promise of God there. He gave us a condition if you give your tithe and offering so that the house of God can have food, meat. You need to appreciate your pastors. I'm not refusing that you don't appreciate your pastor. But the church where you are, you are watch that church. See if, the, if you are connected with the pastor. If you are connected with that church. The connection is the most important. You have to watch it. You cannot live in the church uh, where you are being doomed. You are suffering. You just cover yourself. While your children are scattered, they are being chased by police. Some of them, they shoot them and die. Some of them, they are in prison. Where, where, where your husband is running up with, your, with the other women, where your wife is running up, that, that's not nice. That's not, something must be done. You are in the church. You are faithful every Sunday. You go there early. You sit there. But in your head, you just think about your children. You, you just think about your husband. The pastor is preaching, preaching. You give your tithes, you give your ovary, but in your heart you are you are so much wounded. You are so much, you are wounded. People, they give even sacrificial offering. This is what the, another woman was telling me. She gave everything so that God can help her, but God did not honor her tithe and offering. Then the problem continued piring. You need, you need the financial breakthrough when you, you do the right thing. I pray that God Almighty will deliver you from the bondage that you are in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. God is good. I want to thank God. I want to pray for, for you now. I want to pray that God will do something about your finances. God will do something about your prosperity. You must receive miracle. The miracle is coming. Go to our website www.overcomersdhministry.blogspot.ca and donate your tithe and offering. If you don't have a church to donate, if you don't have a child to give your tithe and offering, give, give your tithe and offering and see if God cannot open windows of heaven and bless you. If you are having, I'm talking to those people who are suffering, who, are, who, are, who their finances has been attacked. If you want to save your marriage, if you want to save your children, if you are, want to, to be healed, if you want to be set free from the situation you are, go to our website. I am going to pray. I'm doing fasting and prayer and fasting. I'm going to attack that enemy that is attacking your finances. I'm going to attack that enemy that is attacking your family. I'm going to ask the angels of, of blessings, the angels, towers of blessings, to release the, blood, the angels of, 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 of uh, the angels of supply to, to come to you and help you. You need your financial breakthrough. When the enemy wants to deal with you, he, has, he, he, he first attack your finances. Because once you, your finances have been attacked, you can't do anything. God, I thank you, Father. I pray that God Almighty, all of your blessings transferred through evil manipulation in the dreams, I command them to hear the word of God be restored to you back seven folder in the name of Jesus. I am praying in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I am now standing in the word of God, commanding all the blessings transferred through evil manipulation in the dreams to hear the word of God and be restored seven times. Let them be restored. Where the thief has come and, and take your finances, as take your money, as transfer all your wealth, by evil manipulation of dreams, I command them to return them seven times in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I am speaking to the evil altars. You powers that swell blessings, I command you to bring, the, I, I bring the hook of the Lord against you and bring you, and, and, and bring you out in Jesus' name. I am throwing the hook of God. I am bringing the hook of God to throw you to the dry land in the mighty name of Jesus. Satanic fish, satanic priest, wicked people, satanic bang, 
Satan ki machine robber. Daddy are stealing your money. I am bringing the hook of God to hook you and throw it away in Jesus' name. I am praying every altar of evil transfer standing against your destiny. I command them to catch fire and burn to ashes in Jesus' name. Anything used to represent you in the covens of darkness, I command them to be roasted by fire, by thunder in the name of Jesus. My God, my Father, I throw your name. I will throw your name from every evil retest of shame and disgrace in the mighty name of Jesus. I am with the throwing your name from 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 every evil register of shame and disgrace. It is a disgrace and a shame when you are borrowing, borrowing, borrowing. You don't need that. Supernatural showers of blessings is going to locate you. God has heard your cry. God is going to release your, the blessings, rain of blessings. It will come and overtake you according to the word of God. Only if you obey the word of God. God is able to deliver your finances in the mighty name of Jesus. God is going to heal your finances. Your finances has been sick, so it needs healing. Therefore, I pray that the powers of God to fall upon your finances and clean them and heal them in the mighty name of Jesus. I command every evil plantation in your life, come out with all your roots in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let, 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 let all... Let all avenues of eating or drinking spiritual portion be closed forever in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord, my Father, I pray that God will, I pray that God, God Almighty will release the supernatural miracle of promotion, supernatural financial miracle of, 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 of prosperity to fall upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. God, God of, of God of Abraham, God of Isaac. I am praying that God, who blesses Abraham, Abraham was so rich. God who blessed Isaac, Isaac was so rich. God who blessed uh, uh, Jacob, Jacob becomes so rich. He's the same God that will release his blessings. Uh, our God is the same God. Our God is the same God of Abraham, God of our our forefathers, God of our God of God of our Lord Jesus Christ. Is the same God. God of Paul, that God, Paul says that my God will supply my riches according to his glory. It's the same God. It's the same God that will hear us as we are talking. That is the same God that will hear you, will hear your cry and release the blessings that he has promised that belongs to you. And every witchcraft attacking your, your finances, every power of your father's house attacking your finances, I am destroying, I destroy them. Every ancestral power, every generational uh, poverty attacking, every generational power attacking your finances, I destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. You generational curses, you generational poverty from your forefathers, I am talking to you right now. Leave this person, leave the finances of the, this person, leave, leave them now. Get out of the person, get out of this person in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. This is not normal. It is not normal. Jesus has paid the price. Jesus has set you free. The Bible says he died poor so that you can be rich. But you are still struggling. You are still battling. You are a minister. You are having a ministry. Nothing is coming. You have been struggling. Some of you, you go to Paul to come and pay the rent of the church. You borrow from the, even from the bank. You use your credit bank because you are waiting. You are saying, I'm waiting. God is going to, to, to bless us and God is going to change our life. F fine. It is your season. God has seen your struggle. God has had your struggle. Every power that is attacking your finances, I destroy them. I command them to get out. No matter what power is that. The Lord Almighty has heard your cry. It is a season of blessings. It is a season that God has, is going to rain a supernatural miracle to, to fall upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, my Father, I want to thank you, God. Yes, Lord, my God Almighty, King of glory, I bless your name, Jesus. I give you the glory, God. You are a wonderful Father in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. My God and my Father, I want to honor you, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, my Father, I praise your name, God. I give you all the glory, Jesus. You are a great God in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Yes, Lord, my Father, in the name of Jesus. This is the season of supernatural miracles, showers of prosperity will fall upon you. You need supernatural miracle, showers of blessed of prosperity to fall upon you. Showers of blessed of, of prosperity will fall upon you, and your life will never be the same again. You will get a promotion. You will get a job. That will destroy every poverty in your life. You will, you will start a business. You will have the income. That will deal with this poverty in your life forever. In the mighty name of Jesus. You need a supernatural miracle. You need a miracle. Very urgent miracle. To take away that situation you are right now. Your house, your home is almost gone. You are at risk. You are at the... At, 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 at the uh, CU, your situation, your financial situation is CU, in CU. So the Lord will deliver you from that room, from that bed, from that hospital. In the spiritual, in the spiritual realm, in the spiritual world, your finances is like blood on the on the vein, water on the other side, and you are in CU. So God is going to deliver you from that. Your finances is such a sick that the condition is like almost to shut down. But God is going to deliver you. No matter no, no, no matter your circumstances, to, to this morning, God has heard you. It is good that you join and you have heard this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. That's why I'm going to pray God. I'm going to pray that God to transfer the wealth of the Gentile to fall upon you. The wealth of the wicked will jump to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Every power that pursued your parents, I command them to release you in the mighty name of Jesus. If your parents died poor, now this power, they want you also to die poor. I command them to get out of your life in Jesus' name. Every power, every evil power pursued your, your father's house and they want you to, to pursue you. I command them to die. Let this power leave you in the name of Jesus. Any power that has vowed to bring you down this year, the thing of God shall bring you down and disgrace you in Jesus' name. There's powers that have discre have vowed that you will never, never, never achieve anything. You will never prosper. You will never, you will die like that. You will lose everything. Those powers, they are liars. I am commanding them by the fire of God to be destroyed in Jesus' name. I pray that God Almighty would deliver you in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I want to thank you. I thank you, Jesus. I give you all the glory, God. Loving Father, I honor you. Loving Father, I glorify your name. I thank you, Jesus. I give you all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I cover your people with the precious blood. I cover your people with the blood of Jesus. I pray that God, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, all those people are looking for financial breakthrough. Maybe you have some, some issues. You are, need money to cover it. God will rain showers of blessings and they will come and overtake you according to his word. God is faithful and God loves you and he, he, he wants to bless you. He doesn't want you to suffer. The Bible says my people are perished because of lack of knowledge. Run that knowledge. You will never be the same again. Change your behaviors. Change your attitude. Change even the church you are going there. You don't have to be there and you are suffering and you don't know what to do. Speak the word, it will be established. Get a man of God, a woman of God to break that demon that is operating in your prosperity. That is, that is attacking your prosperity. Get a strong prophet of, of God or a woman of God to stand with you and break this problem that you are facing. Let, let, you, let people speak the word on your head. To break that demon that is operating in your life. You cannot serve God and things are scattered like that. God is able to deliver you. Remember, Moses said, me and my house will serve the Lord. Will serve the Lord. You, you will be saved. Your children will be saved. You, are you will never be the same again. Salvation is as come free. Yes? We have to stand with the word of God. Remember the word of God said, it will never avoid it. The word of God will never be avoided. It will do what God has, has said. God has promised that he will, pro, he will release the blessings. He will, he will release the blessings that will come and overtake you. Even you cannot have a place to keep it. That's what Malachi says. 
So believe the word of God. That's what it is. But if the word of God, you don't believe the word of God, you give because people are giving, you give your tithe and you are not living in the righteous way, then God cannot receive your tithe. If you are, you are living in a, in, a, in a bad life, you are a thief, you are a conman, you are a vonicator, you are a, you are a murderer, you are a hunger, you have so much stuff in your head. God does not do things like that. You have to work on your salvation and see if there is something in you that is giving the enemy access to attack you. That's why you need some, some spiritual people who can look at you and see that, that why you are like that. Why things are not moving for you? Why are your life is like that? Sit down and think and ask God, why is it that I'm like this? Why am I having a financial problem like this? What is this? Why am I so, so much? Why, why, why is it a lot of stuff going on in, in my life like this? Ask yourself. Ask some question. Then you will find out the answer. Is it because I'm giving in a wrong place? Is it because I'm not worshiping God properly? Is, is it what is this that is making my life like this? Then God will answer you by fire. God will deliver you. That's why we have our, our ministry is called deliverance, heal, healing and deliverance. God will heal you and deliver you from the bondage you are, you are operating in. Our God is able to deliver you. Thank you very much. God bless you so much. See you tomorrow night midnight we are going back to our midnight so tomorrow night midnight we are starting our midnight prayer again tomorrow monday so we don't have day if i come day that's fine but most of the time we'll go back to our midnight prayer thank you very much you can reach me by calling this number 647 608 5207 and also we have a free number if you are not in America this is a, a, the number that you can call is free is 8772413420 you can reach us if you need me to stand with you to break that demon that is operating in you because God has, has said that he would bless you you can also go to our website www.overcomers D H M Yes WW dot overcomers D H Ministry dot broxport dot CA You can send us email email is overcomers D H M at gmail dot com that is our email so you can reach us all this we will reach us and we can stand with you in prayer. You don't have to suffer. I know somebody from uh, from states. Is it yeah from states? This person is a pastor. He has been he has been attacked. His finances has been attacked. He was almost to give up his church to close down the church and go. Now he got my videos and they called me immediately when he called me. I know what was the problem of of, of the church and the and, and the problem he was facing. I, I told him what to do. And the pastor ran and do what, what I told him. The pastor is now free. And this church is growing right now as we are talking. So you might not know what is worrying you. We might not know. But through the grace of God, through the Holy Spirit, God has given, God has given you a prophet. God has given you a prophecy. You have to honor the prophet of God so that God can answer you by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you very much. God bless you. Have a wonderful time. See you tomorrow midnight. Bye bye. Bye. I love you so much. And there's nothing I can do about it. Bye.